Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and we're going to start this project off with this sign. It was from Hobby Lobby, but I ended up getting it at a thrift store for, I think it was a dollar. And I'm just going to peel off the other parts of these squares that are on there. And I just used a heat gun and my Cricut tool, and I just kind of peeled it all off, and then I gave it a quick sand. So once I had that all cleaned up, I am going to paint all of these panels white. I think they have something similar to this sign at Dollar Tree, but this one was from Hobby Lobby because the sticker was still on the back, but it was broken and ended up in a thrift store. So I'm just gonna give this all a nice coat of white paint. And I'm not gonna stress too much about covering it too thoroughly. So once I have that all painted, I'm gonna set that aside to dry and I'm gonna take these two large stars and these came from Michaels and they're made by Darice. And I'm just gonna give each one of them a coat of white paint also. So once I have those painted, I can set those aside to dry and then I'm gonna take these two square pieces of wood from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna paint just around the edges of these with black and making sure that I get the sides but I'm not too worried about the center because we're gonna put scrapbook paper over this, so it's not gonna be a big deal. And I'm gonna repeat that process on both of them. So once I had them both painted and they were both dry, I'm going to take this black and red buffalo check paper that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to trace out the squares on that and then cut out the paper. Once they were both dry, I'm going to take my paper and Mod Podge it right onto the squares. So I'm just gonna do a good coat of Mod Podge and then add my paper to it. And I'm gonna do that on both of them. kind of smooth it out with my hand and all done. So I'm gonna set those aside and I'm gonna take these napkins from Dollar General and on the back of these napkins, I grabbed a big one and a small one. On the back of them, they have these little designs. So on this one, there's a truck on the back and then on the other bigger napkin, there's a deer with some trees. So I'm gonna just use those small designs. So I'm just going around with a wet paintbrush and then I'm gonna peel out this design. So I'm just gonna kind of peel it off. And then I'm gonna set that one aside and then I'm gonna use the big one and take the design off the back of that one. I'm gonna bring it down to one ply and then do the same water method with this one. So I'm just gonna put some water around it. I have a water paintbrush somewhere. I just don't know where it was at the moment. Never can find anything in my craft room. And so now I have both of these designs. I'm kind of just picking off the other parts of this one, making sure that I don't have any of that black that was on the bottom of the napkin. And this one, I ended up not peeling up the other ply. So make sure I get the rest of that one. And then I am going to apply both of these to my stars. So I'm just gonna kind of figure out where I want them on the stars, make sure that I have it all set straight and that I cut off enough of the excess napkin. And then I'm just gonna take some Mod Podge and apply those both to the stars. Line it back up where I had it, and then just kind of press it down with my fingers. I just kind of tapped it. And the whole tree didn't fit, but that's okay. And you don't have to Mod Podge the whole star because you're only putting this in the center. So again, I let those dry. And then once they were dry, I'm just gonna take my little sander and sand off all the excess napkin. And that only took a couple of seconds because there wasn't really a whole lot on there. So here they are all finished. I am going to set these aside for a minute and I'm gonna bring back out the big sign that we were working on and I am going to take some Mod Podge and I'm gonna add that to the center piece only. And I'm gonna take the big part of the napkin 
that we used for the backings. So I'm gonna use the bigger napkin and I'm gonna put the design from that right on the center piece. So I have the big part of the napkin and I'm just gonna lay that right in the center, making sure I get it kind of even. Again, just kind of laying it down, making sure that I don't have a lot of wrinkles. I had a big wrinkle in the center, so I wanted to fix that. And I kind of got a little tear up at the top, but that's okay. And now you'd never even know that it was there. We get that all patted down, trying to be very gentle. And then once that was all dry, I'm going to go around and sand off the excess on that also. And then I'm going to continue on and sand the other two pieces. So I'm going to sand in between all those little lines and then all the way around the edges of both the top and the bottom. I kind of want this to be rustic looking. And as you can see, some of that wood color is coming back through. So here it is all sanded. And now I'm going to take my antique wax and I'm going to go around these little squares. I'm going to go around the stars just a very little bit on all of the edges. I'm just using that antique wax in my applicator. Just very lightly going around. As you can see, I'm not reloading. And then I'm going to do the same thing around the sign. And then also try and get in those grooves a little bit. I'm also going to do it around the centerpiece, right around the napkin, and then again on the bottom piece. And I think this is just so stinking cute already. I love these napkins. I told you I was going to have a lot of projects with them. So if you've missed my first couple, you might want to go back and check my videos. And now I'm going to take those buffalo check pieces and I'm going to hot glue those to the center of the top and the bottom. making sure that I have it all even. I don't want it to look all wonky. Make sure I set that right in the center. And then I'm gonna take these stars and I'm gonna add them to the top of the buffalo check squares. So I'm just gonna set that one right there and then the other one at the top. Making sure that I have them centered in the way that they're supposed to be. Set that down, and oh my goodness, how cute is this? You could add a bow if you want to. I just wanted to keep it just like it is because I think it's definitely good as is, and it doesn't really need any more. It's already busy as it is. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope it inspires you to make one, and as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.